up YouTube, it's your boy with Kobe, and today we are going to be jumping into a, another gameplay video of the 97 overall Power Forward Comincy card from the last promo that just went away. But before we jump into this video, there's going to be a few things that pop up on screen because I'm going to be shouting out one of my friends that does YouTube. If you guys don't believe me, I can show the Instagram, like, Instagram messages. This dude's my friend. I know the subs don't match, but shout out to my friend Jack giving me good ideas, making me come back into the NBA Live community to play these games and get views. So just real quick, I wanted to say that. So thanks, Jack, and shout out to you, bro. Go follow him, go subscribe, all that stuff. But we're going to jump straight into this game, and I will see you guys in the game. All right, here we are in the game. I've got the Hornets jerseys on in the Hornets Stadium. I like to do that. I tried to do that with Roy Hibbert, but I messed up. I try and make sure that I got the jerseys and the stadiums for the players that I do or the teams that I do because I will be working on doing some more, uh, not doing some more, doing some like uh, NBA team builders because as you guys saw with NFL, I did a few of those. Let's turn the volume down just a, just a little bit. Oh, he's pretty good at mid-ranges from what I've seen with I with from what I've played with him so far. He has a 98 mid-range. He's kind of decent at shooting threes. So he's another one of those cards for my team that can kind of shoot. Which is kind of nice, you know, having a card that can shoot, that can drive, that, you know, can shoot the mid-range. Because it kind of helps with my point guards. Because, you know, some of my, my, my point guard, he can't really shoot. You know, Jason Williams, he can't super shoot. and He's not that good at driving. I mean, oh no, he is good at driving. He can't really shoot. So it's nice to have players around him that can. Kind of like the LeBron aspect, you know. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, I've got a lot more videos coming in the next couple days with, like, team builders and more cards. Like, because I'm working on right now, I'm working on a, a Bulls team because I have some good Bulls cards. But because of the monthly master, Scotty Pippen, I haven't put that video out because I've been trying to upgrade him. I'm trying to get him to, like, a 98 before I do that video. And I think when I get him to a 100, I want to do a whole video dedicated to Scotty Pippen, kind of like these videos, where he gets his own video because, I mean, being an... Being a uh, 100 overall, he would be my highest overall card. I'm also grinding the new uh, Season Sim promo, and I've got a few of those cards. I'm working on getting the 97, 99 cards so that I can put those in their own little videos and stuff. You know, just trying to get more content. Because while we're still quarantined, it kind of sucks. But, you know, giving you guys something to watch, giving me something to do, it's kind of nice. Ooh, so far it is 8 to nothing. We are absolutely destroying the Pistons with... Our team. It's more of a team effort that we're destroying them with right now. Um, oh, good D. That was pretty good defense. I mean, it's Roko. That's all he's good at is 3 and D. Um, I have been working on doing a lot more videos, guys. Like, there's a lot more series that are on the way. And I like to run a lot of my NBA Live content through Jack, the guy that I shouted out at the beginning that you saw for his Instagram and his um, YouTube. I like to run a lot of my videos through him because I know he does, I think... I don't want to say exclusively because he might change it up, but as far as back when he used to do his channel before, he he used to do exclusively NBA Live content, so I like to run a lot of my ideas through him because when it comes to the smaller community, obviously, you, have, you know, the QJBs and stuff like that, but obviously I'm not going to be able to reach out to, like, a QJB or somebody like that, the big names, but Jack is somebody that I found through the NBA Live community, or the NBA Live mobile community, and... I mean, I became friends with him, and I want to make some videos with him on NBA Live, like 1v1s, you know, of playing games against him and stuff, or just doing other things, or maybe we're grinding a promo whilst in the same call or something, you know, I don't know, but something to do some collabs, because, you know, I was looking back at some of the old 2Hype videos and stuff like that, and I was thinking, I want to kind of work with some people, you know, maybe start a, a group together with somebody because, you know, that'd be pretty cool, you know, to start a small group of, you know, NBA Live YouTubers, maybe. NBA Live Mobile YouTubers, I mean. And just do videos together. And Jack would be one of those guys i go with because he would meet my requirements. I mean, I can't even start doing it yet because I have requirements for myself. But then I'll be pitching the video to him, so or the idea to him. So, either way, I'm doing a lot of thinking right now, you know. I got, like, podcast ideas because with quarantine, obviously I can't do podcasts it'd have to be like through a call with like screen record and stuff but I mean there's a lot of things that are going to go into it you know I could definitely see myself doing some stuff you know in the future here 
big things. Even though, yes, the channel only has like 50 subs, you know, 48, something like that. We're still doing big things because I have the mindset that I had in my other channel, which I had 400 subs. So, yeah, I don't have, you know, 400 subs, 200 and, or 25,000 views like I did on my other channel. But I play it like I do because right now I've got about 2,000 plays so, or 2,000 views and, you know, 50 subs. So I'm playing it like I have... Then, okay, I'm going to stop ranting. <laughs> I just realized I'm not t talking about anything about this video. <laughs> I've just been ranting. Um, this Kaminsky card, he's doing pretty good so far. I want to see if I can hit a three with him. Three-pointer. <laughs> a little late on the, or a little early on the release, but he still hit it. He's a 93. He's pretty good at taking mid-range shots. That's probably, unless you're going to go to a dunk with this Kaminsky card, your best bet is to take a mid-range shot because, as you guys saw, he has a 98 midi. So that's probably your best bet if you're going to use him. Or if you have his card, or you plan on going to the auction block to get his card. I'm pretty much trying to show you guys when I do play cards, like play with cards, what their best traits are. His best trait is a mid-range. My Jason Williams card that I did, his best trait is layups. Um, Roy Hibbert's is probably rebounding and dunking the ball would be his best traits. Like I'm trying to give you guys you know, ideas, so if you end up wanting to get these cards, or you have these cards, to know what the best to use them for. See, like, as you see, he only has, like, an 80 block, so his defense isn't amazing. He's more like an offensive threat. Like, he's good at hitting that mid-range. Very good mid-range card. I mean, he's got 21 points, and we've been clamping up the Pistons, holding them to three points right now, going into halftime, which would be ridiculous. This would be my lowest score I've ever had, because the lowest I've ever had, I think, was, like, I think I held the team to, like, eight points last season in season three of this game. So if I can hold somebody under that, that would be ridiculous. And it's looking like we might be able to do that right here because, I mean, we're holding them to three at halftime. Like, it, this is an absolute blowout. If we can make them miss right here, we could hold, but I'm not going to because I'm going to try and, you know, get more points for this Kaminsky video. Come on. We lock, we lock it up right here. If we, if we defend them here and they don't score, they're not going to score because I will hold for the last shot if we can get this ball back. No easy shots. No easy shots. That is not an easy shot. Rebound. Get it to Kaminsky. Hold it for a little bit. I'm going to try and get a mid-range shot right here with him. That's decently open. Bam. 25 points at halftime, and we held the Pistons to th three. He released it before the buzzer. Okay. We held them to three. <laughs> oh. Shit. Okay, I don't have stamina, guys, so give me a second. Apparently, I didn't have any. So, give me... Alright, guys, there we go. I had to watch two ads real quick to get enough stamina because apparently I've been, grind I've been grinding the new promo, so I didn't have enough stamina to finish off this game, and I should have checked that before I tried to finish the game off. I feel like an idiot now. Defense. Roko! Good D! I mean, that's all Robert Covington is really good at is defending. I mean, it's the 98 overall Robert Covington, too, so you know he's going to be good at something like that. Defense! White chocolate with the D. Oh, man. I'm enjoying this game, honestly. Thanks. I, I know I, I shouted him out, like, twice already, but thanks to Jack for getting me back into this game or giving me, you know, a passion to start recording this game again. Because if it wasn't for him doing good videos and making solid-ass content over there... Like, you guys should definitely go subscribe. Go watch his videos. He makes really good videos on, like, every promo and stuff like that. But I gotta say, if it wasn't for Jack making his videos and doing so good, I would not have had the, re or the, the like, rekindling to come back and play this game again. Because he yeah, adds fun, but it's also really, really easy. So, you know, there's not much to it. Come on. Defense. Roko, good D. Oh, God. Roy Hibbert. They made that, all right. Well, this definitely will not be amazing, but... Um, hmm. It's been move. I'm trying to get him to take mid-range shots because I know that's his best trait. Boom! 31-7. to seven. I know I'm not really saying much in this video, guys, and I'm sorry about that, but, you know, there's not much to just really say. It's just kind of gameplay. Oh, yikes. I did not throw that where I wanted to. Oh, get bullied, boy. Get bullied, and I missed that? 
wide open, and he missed it, but he can hit the contested ones. That makes sense, game. He can't make the wide open ones, but he makes the contested ones. That was challenged. I don't understand this game's concept of the challenged shot versus contested shot. Because, like, there's certain shots for you that shouldn't be contested. And certain shots for them that should definitely be contested. Like, see, that one said open. But there's no way that was open. Because we were all over him. So I don't understand this game's concept of what is open and what is contested. And what is challenged. And I don't like the amount of time that the servers crash, guys. Because there's if you don't know, like, if you don't play this game, their servers crash quite a lot. I don't understand why, honestly. Like, that was guarded, but it should have been contested because of how good of defense we played there. We played such good defense. Jeez, what is up with Blake Griffin playing god defense now? Oh my god, they're double teaming me. I think they know that this is supposed to be a Frank Kaminsky video. They're trying to stop him. Bang! He hits the three. It looks like he has a decently reliable three. I mean, sometimes it's just, you know, if a player's on, a player's on. And this might be, he's on for the video, you know? Sorry about the pop-ups, guys. I forgot to turn my YouTube notifications off for this video. I need to do that next time. 38 to 13. I mean, we didn't do super well. They scored as many points in that quarter as they did in, like, the entire first half. So, I mean, they're not going to win. I'm always going to win these videos because NBA Live made this uh, season modes so much easier. Like, obviously, if you have good cards, it's really easy. This year, they made it hard at the beginning. Like, it was really hard to win. But once you get good cards, it's just too easy. Like, once you get cards that are, like, 90 and above, it's just, it's too easy at that point. There's no, there's no real point in, you know, even really playing it. I might work on making some more uh, Madden content, guys. If you did want to see more Madden or Madden Mobile content, I definitely will be working on that in the next few days here. There's a lot of videos I'm trying to work on, but, you know, it's more of a matter of do I have the time to record that video? Can I do it? Oh, man. Let's go. 42 to 13. I mean, I'm liking this card. He plays good defense. He's pretty good at taking mid-range shots. I mean, if you shoot a midi, you're pretty much going to make it 9 times out of 10. From what I'm gathering with this card, honestly, he's not bad. And, I mean, he's pretty quick. So, in situations like this where I'm having to drive past some people, he's pretty fast. He's got a decent dunk, you know. Like, he's probably going to miss a dunk. I mean, even my Zach Levine, who has, like, a 99 dunk, because he's from the dunk, the um, High Flyers promo, even he will miss a dunk every now and then. So, it's like, yeah, he's going to miss dunks with his 94, but, oh, yikes. Obviously, he's going to get the job done. He didn't score as many points as everybody else did. If you guys don't already know, I did I did like two videos already for like gameplay videos like this. And man, we scored a lot of points. I, I usually score about 60. I'll say that. I don't really like to spoil my videos, but I score about 60 points. Get it back. Take a three. You're open. You're open enough. Bang. I think he's three for three. I'm not too sure on that, but... Apparently, this card can shoot, you know, which is nice because Zach Levine at the moment has been like my only card that can shoot. I think Robert Covington can because he's a three and D guy and that's all he's really good at in real life is playing defense and shooting the three. So let's try to take another three with Frank Kaminsky. See if he's really a laser like that. He really might be a laser like that. This man might really be able to take threes. He might be that guy, you know, that stretch four. He could be a stretch big, honestly, I feel like. With the way he's playing in this game, I don't know if that's how he plays in real life, but he could be a stretch big. I mean, if you were able to move cards around, I would so do that because, I mean, the man, I think, is like three for, or four for four, five for five, something like that. The man's a god. He's just banging threes. I think I think that the game heard me when I said that he wasn't able to score 60 because, like, the other team is giving me plenty of opportunities at the moment. Good D. Get the rebound. Oh, that's air ball. Don't touch it. Or touch it. That works. We're going to come up here and hit another three. Frank Kaminsky. With another three. I, th I don't think this man has missed a three. 
And I mean, if they shoot quick, we could get to 60 with Frank Kaminsky. If they shoot quick and we get the rebound and we make a quick three, I mean, it's all re relying on what they do here. Ooh, Frank Kaminsky, wide open for a midi. Bang! If we can get the ball back, we can get to 60 again. If every one of these gameplay videos I'm scoring 60, you know how ridiculous it's going to be? Pretty. Let him shoot. Let him shoot. We want this ball back. There we go. Frank is going to have to go coast to coast with five seconds. I don't know how he's going to pull that off. Especially considering we just missed that. If he wants 60, he's going to have to make a three-quarters court shot. Ooh, nearly made it. All right, that was it for me, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely go check out Jack and, uh, yeah.